Well, I've never been part of a game where you give up two hits and you lose. That's uh, it's unbelievable. Um, obviously, that was a big hit for them, the three-run home run. That was uh, the difference in the game. We didn't defend the field good enough to win. I thought the guy to my right just threw awesome, phenomenal. He threw about as good as he could throw, and unfortunately, we didn't make enough plays behind him to win the game. Questions for Justin? We'll start here from Bridgeford. Justin, how do you kind of feel about your, your stuff uh, throughout the day? It seemed like you were pretty sharp with the fastball and changeup. Yeah, no, I felt, felt really good. felt comfortable uh, that first inning. Um, didn't have a good command of the fastball. But uh, you know, uh, just as the game went on, just got more comfortable slowing down the zone and uh, just letting the defense work. And that's the slider. Um, I had to work on the line coach Bellinger. And uh, it, it was a good pitch for me today. Justin, what is it about your changeup that, that you feel confident in right now? And why, why do you feel like that's working so well for you? I just, I mean, throughout the year, uh, I've gotten a lot of swings and misses uh, against a lot of good hitters with it. And over time, it's built, built a lot of confidence throwing it. And uh, I mean, it's gotten me this far, and I just, just got to keep trusting it. And sometimes it's not, it's not working like it should. I just need to step off and just relax and just let the, let the grip do the work. And this has been a really good history this year. And, and hopefully we'll be down the line. Here in the back. Uh, Jeff Owens, Spurs and Brothers. Uh, Coach, uh, what do you see different in uh, South Carolina? We have a just focused. Okay, sorry. Anything else for Justin? Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's just show you what kind of kids are. Coach, what do you see different in the South Carolina team uh, from what you saw a few weeks ago, particularly, I guess, maybe in terms of the way they fight and hung in there? And are they a different team than they were a few weeks ago? I don't know if I see much difference. I think they're a really good team. I thought that the whole year. I think everyone thought that, right? At the beginning of the year, where everybody on national media had them ranked. I mean, I just, I think they're a really good team. They got really good coaches, and uh, they they seem like the same team to me. Whether they feel like they're fighting more or not, I thought they've always competed and fought hard. It's Coach Drew Chandler, AL.com, in, in that seventh and in the. The first five run inning yesterday, your defense kind of let you down a little bit. Uh, how frustrating is that um, in situations like this? Yeah, of course, especially when you're, I mean, I think we got the guys standing in the right spots. You know what I mean? And uh, obviously, I always talk, everybody talks about our offense and how good our offense is, but I just love pitching and defense. Every championship I've ever been a part of, I think I've been to College World Series five times, and every time I've been, it's there's been really good pitching and defense. And unfortunately, today, we did not feel good enough to win. And um, for me, that really hurts because pitching and defense is where my brain is constantly. John Whittle, uh, BigSquare.com. What was Adam able to do to be able to keep you all off balance offensively? I'll tell you what, out of all the guys we faced this year, for whatever reason, he was one of the guys that our guys had trouble seeing the ball against. If you look at what he did against us in Columbia, I thought he threw a great game after we put up a bunch of runs on Friday night. And um, he did it again today. Um, I thought in the middle innings, I thought we had really good at-bats early, and then in the middle innings there, I thought our bats started going to decline a little bit. But one thing we did do is we got to pitch kind of quick. We were fouling, two fouling balls off with two strikes, and I think that's why you see he's not in the game, and he, he came out a little quicker than he wanted to. I mean, but uh, for whatever reason, it's just, it's weird. I can't explain it. They've even, you know, today talking with our team before the game, um, they just, for whatever reason, our guys don't see the ball as well against him. And I, and I wish I could give the answer why, but there's some real deception in that delivery. Nate, now that you guys are done here, what, what's your feeling on national seed wise? And I guess, what, what's your pitch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you guys know, and, and you know what, it always comes down to the end, right? I mean, you guys have jobs to do. And it's really fun to talk about, hey, who gets seven and eight, right? I mean, that's part of your guys' jobs, right? 
But I, I just want to remind everyone that this is based off the whole season's work. We have 20 wins in the Southeastern Conference. We've won 20 games in the Southeastern Conference. I, I want everyone to compare our strength of schedule to everybody else's. I want everybody to look at how many wins we have in the top 50, right? It's real easy. It's kind of, hey, what have you done for me lately? And I understand that's important. But I, I want people to look at that. I want people to look at our strength of schedule. What is it right now, Kendall? Is it, it's under 10, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's going to be under 10. So we have the top 10 strength of schedule in the country, which you look at. We have the third most wins, top 50 RPI wins in the entire country. I want you to think about that. The third most wins in the entire country, top 50 RPI wins, with a top 10 strength of schedule. I don't, I don't know what we're talking about here. We have 20 wins in the best league in America. I mean, what am I missing, Kendall? <laughs> That's why I've set you up for that. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I, 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 you know what, and you, for, for anything else, I, and you know what, um, I believe everything in life you have to earn. And that's what our young men have done. They've earned everything. And when you put together the strength of schedule that we put together, and you put together the amount of wins that we've put together, and you, you put together the, the amount of what we've done in our conference and what we've done, I mean, I, I, I love, you know what I, I would love to do? The whole little uh, blanket deal where you take the names off and you just go, hey, look at this, look at this, and look at this, and you tell me who deserves it. Let's take all the feelings and emotions out. Let's take all the feel-good stuff out. Let's take it out. And let's just say, hey, let's look. Look at this team, and look at this team, and you tell me. And I, I think it would be pretty easy. Any more questions? Okay, thanks, Coach. Thank you.